السلام عليكم وعليكم السلام يا ربنا لك الحمد بما شترتنا يا ربنا لك الحمد بما رحمتنا يا ربنا لك الحمد حمدا دائما مقبولا بما اكرمتنا بنبيك بحبيبك سيدنا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم ألف صلاة ألف سلام عليك يا سيدي يا رسول الله يا من أرسلك الله تعالى رحمة للعالمين وشفيعا للمجرمين نشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له ونشهد أن سيدنا محمد عبده وحبيبه ورسوله سيد الأولين والآخرين وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين I am thanking for Allah Almighty that does we wish for this holy month once again And we have been honored once again with the honor that Allah Almighty grant him for his beloved servant, Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And once again we have been blessed through this Holy Mass, particularly tonight that it is the night of birthday of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. It is only an endless grant, endless favor, and endless blessings from our Lord to ourselves not only for believers, but for whole mankind. Not only for mankind, but for every creature and for every creation that coming from endless other oceans and going to appear, everything just appearing through that prophet's blessings. Allah Almighty creating everything for the honor of his beloved servant, Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We are speaking from knowledge that prophets bring me to mankind. That knowledge that information that we are now saying, it has been said through her prophet's declaration, Sayyidina Adam, first man and first prophet, just he 
was giving good tidings about most renowned servant of Allah Almighty and as well as most honored servant for Allah Almighty as well as he was informing about most respected one in divine presence among the servants of Allah Almighty as well as he would inform me most blessed one most blessed servant in his divine presence and our prophets they were informing about that one whom his name was written on same level on Arshur Rahman La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah no anyone's name just mentioned on that level to be on same level with maybe the name of Allah Almighty that he is La ilaha illallah and in front of it Muhammad Rasulullah that is the meaning that Allah Almighty is saying or a paranormal is making his name up up to where where his name the holy name of Allah Almighty is written the name of his most beloved servant's name just mentioned Muhammad Rasulullah you can't find any place through heavens through paradises that it is not mentioned his name and his name on the level of most respected ones level and today reality that we must believe as Muslims we must believe in on that point He is not someone He is not an ordinary one If We are thinking that Sayyidina Muhammad is the appointed was a ordinary person It is biggest mistake. No. He was an extraordinary or most distinguished one. His outlook he was like common people. But Black stone in the stone, and ruby in the stone. Black stone, dark, stepping on it, but ruby not the stone. That is the stone that is the stone. From mankind, but he was in full relationship with heavens. إِنَّ مَا لَمَا شَمُنْ نِسْلُكُمْ نِسْلُكُمْ Our duty, I would like to understand, but giving Allah Almighty his description, you are in a That means he is in full relationship with others, but you are not. You are not. Don't say Muhammad is like our child. No. He was in full connection, 
with the love of heavens also, not only heavens, no. Give me our most respect to that most respected one. Mankind, what they can give from respect to Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Beside the respect of Allah Almighty. Allah Almighty saying, جَلَّ مِقَائِ إِنَّ اللَّهَ وَمَلَائِكَتَهُ يُصَلُّونَ عَلَيْهِ عَلَى الْنَّبِي Allah never saying to anyone that he is making that respect. It is enough. But non-white people never understand anything. What does it mean? إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي. الله مايتي giving his highest respect without stopping from eternal, pre-eternal up to eternal, never stopping his respect, giving respect, giving honor, giving light. For that one, the Allah Almighty praising him. What we are praising the Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? We are saying three bait khasila, and we are so proud, and we are fighting. We are saying it is not true. Go and fight to Allah. Say to him why you are respecting and praising that one, that we are doing him an ordinary post, 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 not, post, post, not. New fashion people, with other people, they are saying that he's an ordinary person that is not book and learnt away. Go and say to Allah, why you are making so value for that person that you are not asking to give any respect to him much more than to be on him is bringing a book and go away. Go and say to Allah, thank to Allah that he celebrating, whole heaven celebrating his birthday. If chill zina tum galila, a handful people, the squires had people, if they are refusing, let them refuse. Doesn't matter. Whole heavens just in lights, in blessings for the honor of this night. Allah work. And we are happy that Allah Almighty granted us to know that point. And our souls happy and in enjoyment by praising. And we are asking more and more praising for his most praised servant. Allah Almighty never praised his servants as he praised Sayyidina Muhammad. His name Muhammad means most praised one. Why fighting? Why fighting? Those people, who they are, Oh, from beginning after Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Khulafa, Umara, Al Muluk, all of them, they celebrated 1350 years, whole nation 
whole ummah, whole sultans, they were celebrating his holy night and holy day for birthday for Prophet Lord Chief of Kami Wangli, 1928. It is only 70 years that they are taking some money from oil and they are saying themselves, we are Namarida Namuts of this world, we are gods on earth. Let them, they may do this. But it is not necessary to make a, a disgust or general no argue with them because they are, they are not on our level, on our understanding level, to make an argument. Prophet saying, I am be someone in Aza. Where is my ummah's majority? You must be with them. Now look, tonight is birthday night of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa Look, one and a half billion Muslims everywhere except a handful of my people, they are refusing to do, to make celebration. No. Prophet, Prophet ordered to join majority of his ummah. And his ummah, they are enjoying, they are honoring by celebrating the birthday of Prophet. And finally, I must say uh, what Allah Almighty is saying. Through Holy Quran, for so many prophets, Allah Almighty is saying, Welcome to Kitab Ibrahim, Ismail, Musa, Isa. Welcome. Remind them. If Allah Almighty ordering to his prophet, and through his prophet, to his nation, that we must remind prophets, one after one, one after one, to live with our minds, remember us, those prophets who they are, our guides, whom they are, what we are asking to be with them through every salah, every claim, every record, they are asking, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Sallallahu Alaihi every day, for today, Khaas Sunnah, for worship, we are reciting Fatiha. Then we are asking from Allah Almighty to make ourselves to join with those prophets and awliyas and awliyas to be their memories through our he minds always. Therefore he was ordered, you must remember about that prophet, this prophet, that prophet, and Holy Quran folks with the memories of whole prophets. And what about the Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi Who made him that haram? And prophet said, look, 
If they are making an ardu and say to them, Ya Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Shay Hisham. Qala alayhi sallam wa sallam, El halal bayyum. El halal bayyum. Adis al mushal. Mana, meaning, Halal wa haram is so clear. Anyone who knows no my people may bring <laughs> a preacher proof from Hurmat uh, Tahrim celebration of birthday. Yeah? What meaning? Anyone may bring. And Prophet say, it is so clear what it is haram, what it is haram, just it is open. Everyone know it. They know what should go hard. But no one can say if anything in doubt, you can't say this haram, that haram, leave it. Don't say anything, anything for them. That is the most important point that every student must know. We are knowing what is haram, we are knowing what is halal. We never find in through our books that celebration or birthday or prophet is haram or forbidden. And they are telling big responsibility when they are preventing and they are saying haram, say bina. And they are shaitan people, because they are not saying haram, say bid'ah. What is bid'ah? Say, Sharia saying, imma halal, imma haram, not saying it bid'ah between them. From where are bringing that bid'ah? Say, don't say bid'ah, say haram. You can't say. Allah forbid. One thing, you can't say. To say for anything halal or haram, that is for Allah and for His Prophet. Therefore, keep this hadith. Al halal bayyinun wal haram bayyin. Jib. There is proof that celebration haram. Or you should die on Majusi Deen. And now, I am going to say something. Sometimes I am an easy person, but sometimes I am not easy one. Once upon a time, the time of Prophet وسلم, coming a left, what can be made? A delegation. Delegation coming. Well, delegation from Najran. From Christians of Najran. Najran was a kingdom in uh, Yemen. That time, Najran. Sultanate of Najran, they were Christians. When well, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam calling them to come and to believe, 80 persons coming. They may look through their tashrif also, it is mentioned. It is 80 verses just came about those people whom they were coming from Najran from Yemen to Medina in Nawara to look after that prophet if he was that one whom Isa uh, salam mentioned or not. Eighty verses from the beginning of uh, Surah Ali Imran. Allah and they came and they are also no by my people. Yet no white people, Christians. If they have any mind, they must say La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. 
but yet no mind people. Those people coming and getting to discuss or to make argue for Isa alayhi salam. Wa Allah Almighty sending ayat maybe not read them alayhim, making them not to say that Isa ibn Allah, the son of God, or God or Thalisu Salasa. They are making argument. Then he is he was prophet and he is yet prophet, Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi But those no mind people they are continuing on their battle argument. Then Allah might say he keep them. And coming another verses and saying to Prophet Sallallahu Oh, say to those delegations that tomorrow bring their group, their women, their children, and you take you and your Ahli Bayt and come and quit. stop face by face and say, O oh people, now no way for you only to make mubahala. Mubahala means to make prophet a claim against them to make uh, curse.